Today we are in Tokyo, which is the capital city of Japan. This is our first time in Asia, and this city is massive. To put it into perspective, there are 38 million people just in the city of Tokyo alone, and there are 36 million people in Canada, which means that the entire city of Tokyo is bigger than the country of Canada. So we're super excited to start exploring, and we're going to bring you along with us. Okay, first we're going to like this place, what it's called uh, Yoshinoya, which is a pretty popular kind of little restaurant chain that serves your typical Japanese food for a decent price. It's like a, it just seems like a regular place to go. So we're on there for breakfast, for a classic breakfast. So that should be really good. I'm excited about it. We don't know how to ask if food is vegetarian, obviously. Um, so I just ordered this one right there, which I feel like has meat in it, but I'm just gonna eat around it. I'm gonna make my own judgment. <laughs> but it doesn't matter, because for lunch, we're going to a vegan restaurant, then I can order everything on the menu. Okay, this is my breakfast. I read about these beans online. Apparently they have a weird aftertaste, but they're super healthy for you. Mine also came with this beef, but I gave it to Kirsten because it's obviously beef, but the rest of this looks vegetarian, so I'm not gonna eat it. You know, like a Westerner. <laughs> Carson's claiming I eat it like a westerner. <laughs> so these, I read about online this morning. They're like sticky beans. And like I said, they have a really strong aftertaste to them. But apparently they're really healthy and they're like traditional um, Japanese breakfast foods. So they also come with these two patches inside. I don't know why, but we're going to load it up and then we're going to try it. Okay. It's so frothy. Oh, I eat it. Okay. <laughs> it's already good. Oh. It's not bad. That totally was my favorite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kristen's a bean fanatic, so I could better like this. That place was really good and the entire thing costs a thousand yen, which is ten dollars for both of us. Okay, so update for the vlog. It is what time is it? 12.25. We're back at the hotel because we want to get the 72 hour train subway pass and you need your passports to be able to get that. So we've been like walking around for like an hour and a half trying to figure out where we can get these passes. And then we finally found someone who speaks English because there's not a ton of English either um, at the main Tokyo train station. And she was like, you're gonna need to get your passports. We had to walk all the way back to the hotel, grab our passports, but apparently you can get them at some hotels too. So we're gonna hopefully get them at our hotel. Um, and if not, we're just gonna go somewhere to pick them up. And then Kirsten's gonna explain what we're gonna do now. Then we're going to Shibuya and Shinjuku, which are two really cool areas right beside each other with a shrine and lots of the giant crosswalk that's famous and uh like the little alleyways with bars and cool stuff like that the government building with the great view all that stuff it's gonna be really good but yeah note if you are coming to japan to have lots of cash bring your passports if you want the 72 hour pass and have the google translate downloaded because the english is not great here Okay, we have secured our train passes. The lady who gave them to us was super nice. Um, and now, 
person's taking us to the subway. <laughs> Look at this crazy intersection. I'd have a panic attack. <laughs> The world's busiest intersection is the scrambled crosswalk in Shibuya Square. Alright, uh, get ready. Okay, we're finally gonna try the vending machines. Jeffrey, what do you want to get? Actually, I'm overwhelmed. I like it. Okay, we've decided Chris is getting this, I'm getting this. Now I just need to figure out how to do it. Do we have enough? On the there's these nice paths on the side because you're not supposed to walk in the middle. You walk on the sides because the middle is for gods and spirits. And we just, the big uh, gate you saw is called the Tori Gate. And yeah, that, that, so when you walk through it, it shows that now we're in the, it separates like the human world versus the spirit world. So now we're there. So behind me is a hand and mouth washing station. So you're supposed to wash your hands and your mouth in that water before you go into the temple as a way to purify yourself. Okay, so we are right in front of the government building because online everyone's talking about the Shibuya Sky, which is this area where you get a really good viewpoint of the city. But you can go into the government building up to their viewpoints for free and get the same viewpoint. So that's what we're gonna do. Kirsten's taking us there now. We're going up there. Park is the park with the shrine that we're in this time.
bars and street food and entertainment, strip clubs, red light stuff. It's really, it's really cool. They like, tightly pack, lots of lights, lots of fun stuff, and people trying to sell you things and all that. It's really cool. I like it a lot. day two in Tokyo. This is the outfit for today. It's the same dress I wore yesterday because we are going to temples today and I don't have anything that covers my knees yet. We're just doing some budgeting and I am eating a brownie from the plane that I've been saving. I love this stupid brownie so much. I love airplane food. It's so good. And we're going out for our second day. which is the district famous for the Sen Sensoiji Temple. That's the gate we just went through. So there's like tons of shops with treats and it's famous for soba noodles. And yeah, the temple is going to be unbelievable. Maybe the nicest temple and I think it's the nicest temple in Tokyo. So. Maybe Japan, I don't know, but it, it, it's incredible, super nice. Online, and I'm telling Chris and he needs to try one. It's fish that they smoosh down, cover in batter, and like fry it up so it's flat. Chris says he's not gonna try one. Obviously, I can't because I'm vegetarian, so that's my excuse for not trying the weird food.
we've seen sweet. these everywhere. It's like sweet rice with salty, no. sweet rice dumpling with salty and sweet sauce. Everyone has these. It seems to be a classic thing, so we're gonna try it out here. That's weird. <laughs> I think you're gonna talk a little bit louder. I don't know how I feel about it, but I'm glad I had it. <laughs> it very good. sticky and salty and sweet. It's exactly what I thought it'd be, but. Okay. We also have this. We just got them from the place everyone was standing in line. Do you want to hold the GoPro so I can try this one? Okay, I'm gonna try this one. This one's the same thing, but I think it looks prettier. <laughs> It's a cultural experience. That's what I think. <laughs> what do you think? I don't know. It's not that good. Okay, this one? Mm -hmm. okay. This is a salty sweet one. Oh. What? The sauce is salty. The sauce is weird. I think I prefer this one. You what? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to try this one. I'm gonna go for this one. This one's like without the salty sweet sauce, some fruity stuff. So. Oh, I like this one a lot. Yeah. This one's really good. The dump, the rice stuff. It's just the sauce is weird on the other one. This one's fruity, chewy. I'm a big fan. Yeah. Good thing we can see it being chewed in your mouth too. Mm. <laughs> We also got these candied strawberries. We're gonna do a taste test. I've been waiting for these ones. It's gotta be good. Okay. We're in the middle of a very busy square. <laughs> oh. oh, it's very good. It's very good. Let's try. Oh, yeah. It's crunchy and very, very good. And it makes up for the bad last one we have. It's like someone surveyed Carson when they were building Tokyo. <laughs> Actually, you know what? <laughs> it is really my kind of city. This might be my favorite city I've ever been to. It's so awesome. They asked, what do you want in the city, Carson? Lots of trains. Anything else? Lots of bathrooms. And maybe lots of Buddhist temples. I mean, I love it. one of the like 7-Eleven convenience type stores. And we got some stuff Chris read about online. We got a pizza bun, a like soy sauce flavored chicken skewer and a fried chicken. And then we also got one of these weird drinks because we've seen them online. It's like a frap situation and you basically add the liquid into it in the machine sort of thing. Anyways, we'll try it. Thank you. 
person is an absolute menace with stealing the free things from the hotel. Stealing it is free. I know, but you just, like, every time we go down to the lobby, he takes oh, a new one. I got a little towel today. <laughs> but look at this. It's a towel. But it doubles. Oh, no, I thought it was a bag. No. So that's quite the towel. And it's because everywhere you go, you, like, rinse your hands or wash them. And there's no towels or anything, so this is perfect. It's going in the fanny pack. We are in the main Tokyo airport right now booking uh, the Shinkansen train, which is the bullet train to Kyoto tomorrow. You don't need to reserve it super far in advance, so we just went up to this little kiosk and we're booking it for right now. We got the seats where you get a view of Mount Fiji and like all of them were sold out. We got the last two. Okay, we went to the convenience store and we got some snackies. These, this is what I picked out. They're like hair little balls and they're frozen. Anyways, it's really hot. We also got a water and then Kristen got this weird like dough ball. Melon pond, it's famous apparently. Yeah, so we're gonna try these on camera. I'm gonna actually, I'm just gonna set you up right here. So we're trying these ones first. They're like just frozen little balls. Okay, ready? Oh, they're like cool. Oh. Cranberry. It's kind of like a weird pear flavor. It's good. It, it's, it's a weird good. flavor, but it's nice like little ball ice cream. Yeah, it's like soft serve. Cools you down. Anyways, they're already melting, so we're gonna eat them while we walk. It is 30 degrees in Tokyo today. We're walking to the parks at the new Otani Hotel. Um, and we are sweaty. I don't know if you can tell. You can really tell on Kristen. Kristen's face. It, oh, you can't tell the shade. I'm but sweating. Kristen's face is sweaty. So we're gonna go pick up one of those fans everyone has. Very Taylor-esque. We need Taylor's fan. Yeah, Taylor knows We should have stolen doing. it before he left. Fan and ourselves. And a towel. Oh, and a towel, because none of the sinks here in the public washrooms have towels to wrap your hands, but also just because our faces are so sweaty, we gotta get a handkerchief action going on, you know. This hotel that we're at is super fancy and on the grounds you can go to their gardens and their waterfall for free. So that's what we're doing. We didn't pay to can't, stay here. Can't go to the Ritz Hotel, but you can just show up. Yeah, and then we're just taking the train right back to our AC room. It's like two o'clock right now and it's too hot to be outside anymore. It's time for a <laughs> siesta. Yeah, siesta time.
can't eat anything on the McDonald's menu because none of it is vegetarian. I did have mini pancakes, which were not very filling. And Kristen's not being very supportive. Hannah is sad. <laughs> but the one thing I can have while we sit and have our nice sunset dinner is this lemon and cheese pie like the apple pies that they have so i'm gonna try it ready i think it's really lemony and not very cheesy in the pictures it was like Good thing. white and lemony anyways it's okay i've had a bad food experience in tokyo to Kyoto now so that will be the next video we had a lot of fun in Tokyo um, except for there wasn't a lot of English and there wasn't any vegetarian food options so I don't feel very good but other than that Tokyo was really really good Do you like Tokyo? I love Tokyo maybe my favorite city in the whole world I, it blew me away could not have been better 11 out of 10 probably Good. Okay, well, we'll see you in the next vlog. This outro was for Taylor and Tanya, who said my videos end abruptly. So, bye!